Hey there, I'm Aman Rashid and welcome to Gadget360. Apple announced a slew of new features for iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 during the company's annual Worldwide Developer Conference. In this video, we're going to take a look at the best ones. Before we begin, you'll be glad to know that iOS 14 will be coming to iPhone 6s and newer iPhones and it will be available as a public beta in July with the final release in September. Another quick request, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you know when we post a new video. Whenever I get calls on my iPhone, I have to stop what I'm doing because it takes over the entire screen. iOS 14 is changing that and I can't wait to start using this feature. Calls will show up in a small pop-up at the top which is great iOS 14 will finally allow you to change the default email and browsing apps to your favorite third-party app system-wide. I've been waiting for this feature for years now. Picture-in-picture -picture mode is finally here for iPhones with iOS 14. We already had it for iPads earlier and now on my iPhone, I no longer need to pause videos while replying to text messages. It's about time the iOS home screen got some customization options. Along with accessing widgets in the Today view, you will now be able to add them to the home screen in iOS 14. Also, the app library will allow you to automatically hide some home screens and go for a cleaner look on iOS. iOS 14 has three great privacy features. You'll see a recording indicator whenever an app is using the mic on your iPhone or iPad. You can choose to share an approximate location when using GPS on any app and you can check what data apps are collecting by checking their app store pages. Siri now has a killer feature which is offline translation. Apple has launched a new translate app that supports 11 languages but none of those are Indian. If Apple adds support for Indian languages, I might actually start using Siri regularly. In Messages, you can now pin up to 9 of your most important conversations to the top for quick access. And you can finally reply to specific messages and mention specific people in chats. Group messages will be a lot more fun with iOS 14. With iOS 14, if you get a call on your iPhone while watching a video on your Mac, your AirPods will automatically switch to the iPhone for the call and then back to the Mac once the call is done. This is another feature I can't wait to try iPadOS has a few nifty additions and my favorite is Universal Search. You'll be able to start a search from the home screen or from inside an app. With Universal Search, you can look for anything on the iPad from a document to contact or even something within an app as long as the app implements this feature. Apple Pencil is getting a new major feature called Scribble that will let you write in any text field and convert it into actual text. You can even select handwritten notes and copy them or write with your Apple Pencil to do a web search instead of typing. Now this one is not an iOS 14 feature but this is something more in line with the uniformity in the Apple ecosystem. Apple has announced that it will start shipping Macs with Apple Silicon and these will be able to run iOS and iPadOS apps. I can't wait to play my favorite iOS games on my Mac. Those were the top new features in iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 that Apple announced at WWDC 2020. If I missed something, you can let me know about that feature in the comment section down below. Either way, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.